question that I'm asked frequently from first time home buyers is what are lenders looking for with credit? That's a great question what credit score do you need in order to purchase a house? Right. And it really comes down to the loan program, mm -hmm. right? So generally speaking, the higher the credit score, the better the interest rate you're going to have and the better that you can do. But like, what is the number? Right. If you have over a 700, you're gonna qualify for pretty much every program. Okay. Most, most lenders have options down to 640. Mm -hmm. um, I've got some options that'll go down to 580. Okay. And if you have 10% or more down, we can actually go down to a 500 credit score. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So you don't always need that perfect credit score. No, you don't have to have a 760, 800 credit score to buy a house. However, with a conventional, if you go below a 700, mm -hmm. the rate doesn't change, but the PMI, the private mortgage insurance, mm -hmm. that can get very expensive if you go below a 700 credit score. Yeah. Yeah. One more thing, for somebody that doesn't have any credit, where is a good place to start? What are some things they should start doing now? That's an awesome question. So you don't have any credit. Uh, I highly recommend you go to your local credit union and you ask them for a credit builder loan. I have found that you first in our area has the best credit building loan. Go get a, a credit, uh, like a credit loan uh, mm -hmm. for a thousand bucks. It might cost you 20 bucks in interest, but then that'll report to your credit bureaus and then you, you can get great credit after that. I see. A lot of times people will go out and get a secured credit card mm -hmm. and that's kind of like a debit card where you put like $300 down and then you get a $300 limit. Okay. The problem with that is it takes six months to actually report mm -hmm. and it, it, if you only put three hundred dollars down with mm -hmm. credit cards, it has everything to do with percentages. Mm -hmm. So if you spend two hundred and fifty dollars on the card, not a lot of money on a three hundred dollar, not two hundred fifty bucks, not a ton of money. Right. But on a three hundred dollar limit, you know you're, you know, eighty five percent. So you have an eighty five percent usage ratio. So then it actually hurts your credit. So if you go the credit card route, you never want to put more than thirty percent on the card. So if you have a three hundred dollar okay. limit, never never go below one hundred dollars yeah. or above one hundred dollars. So don't max out the credit. Correct. Cards. And that's why I like I tend to send people to get loans mm -hmm. because you can't mess up a loan. It is what it is. Just make the payments. That's true. Right. Yep, and as far as you know, getting a credit card and building credit through that way, you can always apply with a parent as well. That's yeah. a, another initial way to start. So if you're yeah, nervous or if about, mom and dad have had a credit card for a very long time, they could put you on as an authorized user. Yeah, and then even if you don't have the card, as long as they're responsible using mm -hmm. it, then you get all the inputs into the equation because. In its simplistic form, I like to look at the credit score is just an output of a formula. Yeah. It's just a math problem, the credit. So it takes the information from all these different... Yeah, uh, how long you've had the credit correct. card, yeah. um, if you're always paying back What types time. of debt you have, right. etc. Um, and that goes into an algorithm and then that spits out a score. Right. And that's what we all look at is the score. But if you can, if you know how the math problem works and mm -hmm. you can manipulate the math problem, then you can manipulate the outcome as well. Definitely. So, yeah, very cool. you know, and how I started with a credit card, um, I think around the age of 17, it was, I wow. 17 or 18, mm -hmm. um, just started using it just for gas only. That way I got comfortable. I knew I had to always get gas. It's something that I always paid for mm -hmm. regularly. So I got a credit card just to make my gas purchases and then sooner than later it started becoming every purchase and was re was getting cash back from purchases as well. So make sure that you are, you know, paying back your credit cards and working on building a healthy credit to start. Absolutely. It's a short story. My first credit card was with the Bond Hub at yeah. the Messina Mall. I was 18 years old and they offered, asked me if I wanted a credit card. And I was like, of course I do. <laughs> <A> credit card. <laughs> so I got my first credit card. Um, I didn't responsibly use it, so I cut it up after like six months because uh, I maxed it out. My parents yelled at me, but thankfully it was only like a $200 limit. So, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, I fixed you it. Learn. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so make sure that even when you're first playing around getting credit, you act like Hannah and I have. Yeah, make smart decisions. <laughs>